Okay. okay. I'm staring. Good morning and good night. This is the Lessons of A Course in Miracles. This is Lesson 26. My attack thoughts are attacking my invulnerability. It is surely obvious that if you can be attacked, you are not invulnerable. You see attack as a real threat. That is because you believe you can really attack. And what would have effects through you must also have effects on you. It is this law that will ultimately save you. But you are misusing it now. You must therefore learn how it can be used for your own best interests rather than against them. Because your attack thoughts will be projected, you will fear attack. And if you fear attack, you must believe that you are not invulnerable. Attack thoughts, therefore, make you vulnerable in your own mind, which is where the attack thoughts are. Attack thoughts and invulnerability cannot be accepted together. They contradict each other. The idea for today introduces the thought that you always attack yourself first. If attack thoughts must entail the belief that you are vulnerable, th their effect is to weaken you in your own eyes. Thus, they have attacked your perception of yourself. And because you believe in them, you can no longer believe in yourself. A false image of yourself has come to take the place of what you are. Practice today's idea and it will help you to understand that vulnerability or in un invulnerability is the result of your own thoughts. Nothing except your thoughts can attack you. Nothing except your thoughts can make you think you are vulnerable. And nothing except your thoughts can prove to you that this is so. Six practice periods are required in applying today's idea. A full two minutes should be attempted for each of them, although the time may be reduced to a minute if the discomfort is too great. Do not reduce it further. The practice period should begin with the repeating, with repeating the idea for today. My attack thoughts are attacking my invulnerability then closing your eyes and reviewing the unresolved questions whose outcomes are causing you concern. The concern may take the form of depression, worry, anger, a sense of imposition, fear, foreboding or preoccupation, any problem as yet unsettled that tends to reoccur in your thoughts during the day is a suitable subject. You will not be able to use very many for any one practice period because a longer time than usual should be spent on each one because a longer time than usual should be spent with each one. Today's idea should be applied as follows. First, name the situation. I'm concerned about... Then go over every possible outcome that has occurred to you in that connection and which has caused you concern, referring to each one quite specifically, saying, I am afraid something will happen. If you are doing the exercises properly, you should have some five or six distressing possibilities available for each situation you use, and quite possibly more. It is much more helpful to cover a few situations thoroughly and to touch on a larger number. As the list of anticipated outcomes for each situation continues, you will probably find some of them, especially those that occur to you toward the end, less acceptable to you. Try, however, to treat them all alike to whatever extent you can. After you have named each outcome of which you are afraid, tell yourself, that thought is an attack upon myself. Conclude each practice period by repeating today's idea to yourself once more. My attack thoughts are attacking my invulnerability. It can work for you.